he will drop to the ground and begin to kick and scream. We are worried that he will hurt himself. Or someone else. We believe these behaviors impede his ability to learn and the abilities of other students in the class. Miss Sanders. These behaviors are typical of all children in special education. I can assure you my staff are addressing them appropriately. Do you have any other concerns? At our annual IEP meeting we asked for a functional behavioral assessment. We were told this assessment will help us understand our son's behaviors and help aid the IEP team to develop a behavior intervention plan. We also sent three letters to your office regarding our request. I am sorry. I do not read all the letters. My assistant reads most of my mail. Maybe she forgot to tell me. What did the IEP team say? The school psychologist told us she could not grant our request because it is not within her pay grade and this decision can only be made by the special education director. That is correct. So, I scheduled this meeting with you to see if you could grant our request for a functional behavioral assessment. Miss Saunders, we must follow proper IEP procedure. I can only grant your request in an IEP meeting and do not have the power to do so here in my office. Thus, you will need to call for a new IEP meeting and then you can make the request again. We have already attended five IEP meetings and we do not want to wait another two months for a meeting to get scheduled. Please call another IEP meeting and I will attend it if my schedule allows me to. However, I will probably not grant your request. Could you please explain to me why not? Miss Sanders, your child is a special education student which means he is not entitled to a Cadillac. We are only obligated to provide him with a Chevy. Do you understand? No, I do not understand. My son is 10 and he cannot drive. We are not asking for a vehicle. We are asking for a functional behavioral assessment. Well, I am sorry. Special education law is very complex. I have a PhD in education which allows me to understand the law. It is far too complicated to explain it to you. You will have to trust me. What happens if my child gets hurt while we are waiting for the IEP meeting? I can assure you that your son will not get hurt. My staff know techniques to restrain kids so they cannot hurt themselves. We also have a special room to place your son in when he is upset. He cannot hurt himself in this room. I did not know you had a special room. Where did your staff get this special?